Hi everyone, as here for me all versus babyface. <laughs> I'm not laughing at what you think I'm laughing at. I know you think I'm laughing at the title of the video, which is correct, by the way. For other people who are watching this from America and go, it came out on Tuesday, it's two days. Uh -uh. Came out yesterday here in Europe. One day. I'm European. Well, looks like Europe is wrong. Uh, also makes a much better title for a video. It does. Without it's very true. Because it's still true. Um, no, it's not. It's not. The reason why I'm laughing is because... It is funny. Yesterday, I did a video about patch 8.2. And then I followed it up <laughs> with a video about Stormblood moving into Shadowbringers. <laughs> Let's just say... That's the uh, that's that game, right? With the, the weebs and shit and, like, the cat girls? Uh, I, I'm just, I'm not really 100% sure, but, like, is, is that it? Yeah, okay. The amount of sodium that was flowing yesterday was huge. <laughs> and I laughed, and I laughed, and I laughed. Okay. But I said to myself, okay, today, let's try and lower the sodium levels. Let's try and unite people under one banner once again. Let's, you know, stop playing silly beggars. And uh, so I did the video about Pete Hines, who playing victim about Fallout 76. It's Bethesda who are the victims. <laughs> and I thought, yeah. And then this came out. Weren't they the ones that didn't give people the bags? Were, were, were they okay? So no bags. All right, but they're the victims. I see. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. So let the sodium okay. flow once again. Now, all right, here we go. Uh, I got some obviously some critical things to say about this. I got yeah. some other things. I got some logical things to say about this, and I've got a positive. <laughs> I know a positive about a cash shop. We'll get to it. We'll get I don't to know it. about this, dude. I'm, so, I'm nervous. First things first. Uh, if you haven't seen it, and you might not have, because as far as I'm aware, there isn't a video out for this yet, unless it's unlisted. But from the making of this video, what well, has been now? Out, Blizzard do have a tendency to unlist certain videos <laughs> in an effort to reduce the amount of downvotes on it. <laughs> but yes, we have another unique mount on the Blizzard store. That you can purchase for either singular, you know, just with money, or you can get it free <laughs> if you purchase six months. Get off those mounts, time. guys. Get off those mounts. Now, uh, get this off. is now the fourth unique mount in six months. The Evolve Wait, Line for me came out uh, December 13th. So six months and two weeks. Oh my uh, god. But these all four. And they're all all unique. They've come out in a space of six months. Oh which my is god! An excessive amount, an excessive amount. And I'm just going to say it. Yeah, it does. It does um, scream of desperation. It does scream that Blizzard are desperate to uh, raise revenue for <sighs> Battle for Azeroth because this expansion has been a big fat flop. Big fat flop. <laughs> like me. What? But yes. Okay, uh, so there we go. Remember, when you've got shareholders, you can't just have a decent amount of money. There it is, the game dude. is still making a decent amount of money. Do not get me wrong. Yep. But it's not making all the money, and it's got to keep the shareholders happy, and uh, it's it hasn't. It clearly hasn't. Uh, so let's get into the, the regular kind of debates and arguments. You don't have to purchase them. No, you don't have to purchase them. Right, let's get that out of the way. You can purchase it with gold if you do the conversion. Yes, you can purchase it with gold if you do the conversion. However, That's you've true. got to have the amount of gold to make the That's conversion true. to do that. Some people don't have that. If everyone had it, there wouldn't be a need for a cash shop. This is why the cash shop exists, because there is a demand, and therefore there is a supply. Okay. Good. Glad we got all that Good. over and done with. All right. Now um, what? Let's just jump to this, first of all. Remember the Dreadwake? I did a video about the Dreadwake. I actually have this one. you couldn't purchase I have this, this individually like you can this one. Uh, this was fully attached to purchasing six months worth of World of Warcraft right. game time. And I of said, course. particularly after seeing how poor BFA was, that they're just trying to lock you in. That's all they're trying to do here. They're just trying that to lock you in That seems pretty accurate, months, actually. Making sure 
that they that's exactly have what it was that, in my opinion that's what i thought uh, was number that they can call upon as 100 percent number of subscribers for the next six months 100 fucking percent them to track 200 then, fucking percent you know hopefully <laughs> they'll have some others uh on top of that and i also i believe i also stressed that um that uh it's also a, a very cynical ploy because it means that they don't if they get people locked in they don't necessarily have to you know get things done in a hurry if you kind of get where i'm coming from there were a lot of problems with bfa and that's they true because you already got in actual fact patch that's eight. the same reason why i don't like fucking pre-orders is because whenever you pre-order that means it doesn't matter if they have the game out on release because they already have your fucking money point two which came out yesterday i hate pre-orders here in europe hence one day it's the most consumer it's really unfriendly the first practice major they have now patch this expansion 10 months in uh, 8.1 was was fucking terrible, man. Terrible. 8.1 wasn't even and a patch. If you were a raider, you got something to do. If you weren't a raider, pff, see ya. You know, <laughs> you you were holding on by the skin of your teeth uh, for something. <gasps> okay, anything, dude. Uh, to get involved with. And uh, so as soon as that six month period finished, boom! This went right back up on the store, straight onto the store as an individual purchase uh, this one here of course you can do on its own however i think we're kind of in the same situation here with this one okay i think we've got a, a couple of things first and foremost uh let's just deal with okay let's deal with the the elephant in the room shadow bringers let's deal with that one first now then i'll do wow stuff shadow bringers comes out tomorrow early access virtually everybody is going to be on the game I, I, a huge proportion of players are going to be playing wait, shadow everybody's going to be playing it the game getting the uh one two three oh. four five ish uh five ish early days uh to get in uh, to the expansion so they are trying first pause pause mount god Okay. Unpause. Okay, somebody, yeah, somebody invite me for the arachnoid guy. All right, yeah, next time for sure. First of all, to lock in as many people who are going to go off and play Shadowbringers. As long as you purchase uh, this with a six-month subscription to grab that, they don't, they don't care if you're playing WoW or not. They don't give a shit. No. They just, just want your ding a ling a wing a hinger. Uh, that's your so money, that's by the way. So first and foremost, they're putting up today with Shadowbringers coming out tomorrow to try and capture as many people quickly uh on this so let's that's that over and done with i think that's pretty obvious and we don't need to go too much further into that it okay. speaks for itself yeah so boys are all right boys Secondly, are trying to lock people possibly in possibly more worryingly i think it Invite also me for this rare, plays into exactly the same reason why the dread wake had its offer yeah, of course and i know some people go no it was, it was already pre-planned no no there was an offer ready sure it could have come out at any time at any point anywhere for any amount length of time it could have been for two months one month three months four months they choose they chose to put together what they chose on that date jesus christ um but i think it goes on the similar lines of the dread wake i think patch 8.2 is it for battle for azeroth this year i don't think there's going to be another patch uh i don't think we're going to see 8.3 this year i think 8.3 is going to come next year what I, what I believe wow. is this is another attempt to lock in as many people as possible, knowing that patch 8.2 is going to last eh, at least that period. I don't know, guys. I mean, that does kind of make sense. I mean, yes, obviously it's a bit of a tinfoil hat, but I mean, do you guys think that? I mean, I, I actually, I, I think that could completely be true. I mean, if they're trying to lock people into a sub right now for six months because they know that they won't have any content out later on, it makes sense with Classic coming out and with BlizzCon coming out soon. Uh, raid tiers are six months. Six months? Jesus Christ, dude. 
I, I, I hope he's wrong. At least that period. Wow. Because six months will take us to the end of the year. Yes. And then maybe 8.3 comes out the end of January, beginning of February, okay. something like that, 2020. Great. That's my prediction. It's a guess, but it's a prediction. And the way, the reason why it's a prediction is because the way you're that predicting they've it. positioned from a marketing perspective, 8.2, they, they've they got shill websites saying patch 8.2 is a mini expansion in itself. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Yeet. um that's how they're trying to to play to play <laughs> that you know they're trying to play 8.2 as a massive massive oh, content <laughs> that's gonna last you for can we watch that again eight two is a mini expansion in itself <laughs> Fuck off. Yeet. Yeet. <laughs> um that's how they're trying to to play to play that <laughs> you know they're trying to play 8.2 as a massive massive content oh drop God. that's gonna last you for a considerable period of time uh also if that for this doesn't necessarily work He's up on your server if that doesn't necessarily work this is where the positive element may come in okay classic if this doesn't work as in 8.2 doesn't work to hold people's attention uh classic is coming the end of august and i think that classic is going to bring people back into the game i don't know how many anymore back in november 2017 i had huge numbers but you know i think blizzard have done a lot of damage to themselves particularly in the last six to eight months a lot of damage to themselves and yeah uh, i don't think they yeah. hold that trust that they used to hold by any stretch of the imagination no and so exactly how many no. people come back i'm unsure but i do th i think a lot of people did come back for 8.2 like unironically a lot of people probably did come back for 8.2 like it, even like a lot of streamers people are interested in the new patch uh, i would say that a lot of people uh you know they came back and they're like what's going on over here and uh, I think that's the case. I mean, people can dislike that or get mad or whatever the fuck you want to say. But in general, I think that's something that has definitely happened. Only because they reduced the stress. Rates. Well, I, I don't know about that. I think they will come back in substantial numbers. Substantially enough for it to be a huge deal. Substantially enough, and I'm going to call it now, Okay. that WoW will be the number one streamed game on Twitch, on release, on Classic. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, and I think it will be huge. I think there will be a, a um, possibly even a oh, fuck, yeah. breaking number of people watching. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm putting it out there. But if you plan, you yeah. know, if, you, if you're if you done with Battle for Azeroth, or if you're like... Some like, no fucking shit, it's going to be the top game on Twitch, right? I mean, Sekiro was the top game, and like, WoW Classic was much more anticipated than Sekiro, right? Like, every new game, like, God of War comes out, it's the top game on Twitch. Like, any time a new game comes out, everybody that's like a variety streamer plays it, and then you also you have the people that are part of that organic community, and then they do really well too, right? And uh, not, Sha not Shakira, okay, relax. The point that I'm trying to make, Twitch viewers equals active player count, I think they're kind of correlated, right? If there's a million people watching a game, that probably means at least some people are interested in it. I would say, yes, interest in a game dictates interest in a game. But obviously, it's not a one-to-one -one ratio. The, the point that I'm trying to make here is that, yes, uh, obviously, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be very popular. Uh, the thing is that if the WoW section was a little, WoW section was a little bit more popular than it is now, like almost 8.2 would have been pretty close. Like 8.2 was in the top three games on day one, and that's really good for the game. That's amazing. Somebody who will just dip in and out, and he's just like, nah, man. Think on this. Are you going to play Classic for four months? <laughs> you know, if you if you yeah. think, yeah, I'm absolutely going to be on Classic for four months. Invite me for this it, rare. It might actually be worth snagging. It might, it might actually be worth snagging. Not that I'm trying to give Blizzard any money whatsoever. But I'm just thinking from your own perspective. If you're going to be dipping in and out of Battle for Azeroth now, uh, for the next couple of months, and which means you're going to have to have a subscription, and you're going to easily be playing Classic for the next four months, yep. do it. If you're unsure about any of that, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. 
But if you're sure about something like that, sure. If you well, want yeah. to do it, you go for it. I mean, I'm, I won't personally because I'm not going to give them that satisfaction of money. But I don't really care about people that get the the six month thing and it just gives them the mount, right? I mean, because a lot of people pay with the pay for the game in six month increments. I I pay for the game in six six month increments. The problem is the fact that it's not an in-game reward. I don't care about the bundle at all. It's not a big deal. But what Heel vs. Babyface is saying here, what Az is saying here uh, about, yes, maybe this is because they want to lock people in because there won't be any content for the rest of the year, that is a big tinfoil hat, and I certainly hope that it's wrong. Um, but, yeah, it's to me, it's again, it's another really cynical... It's a really another cynical yeah. thing because it, it's... It's showing distinct lack of uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Lack of um, belief, I think, is the word. The lack of belief in your product, where you're trying to lock people in for such a lengthy period of time. Yeah, kind of shows that you either have a lack of yeah, belief that is in very your product, true, or you know exactly <laughs> what your product's all about. And there ain't going to be anything else uh, joining the fray. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really go. bad. Uh, that's what I got to say about that. Buy it, don't buy it. It's no skin off my freaking nose. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you do, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for There's a link right there in the video. It's in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff. There's the video. Take you care. guys can go ahead and take a look yeah. at it. Give them a like if you want.